In the Leadership is Changing podcast, we, we talk about leadership strategies and tactics ready to help you become a more effective leader. Sometimes leaders are unsure what they need to do, and in particular, the last month of the quarter. So today's episode is to talk about what you need to do in that last month of the quarter as a leader and as an individual and as a team player. So here we go. Let's discuss. Welcome to Leadership is Changing. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change. This is taking your leadership to another level by finding the balance between executive excellence and personal well-being through stories that inspire real change. It's time to adapt in our fast-moving world when leadership is changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Welcome to the Ask Dennis episode. This is a freestyle episode where I'm asked a question by our listeners, or I share my thoughts, experience, and insights from working with many leaders around the globe. Hey, listeners, we want to keep promoting the podcast and lifting its visibility. And I've got to say to you, thank you. Just as I'm going to record this, we have another review that just come through from somebody in relation to the podcast, saying how they're already enjoying the different Yes, and different topics and different approaches and, and actually doing and listening to the interview itself. So it's, it's really good to get. But I really wanted to ask you to do and help out more if we can do more reviews and ratings. First of all, if you can follow the actual podcast, if you're listening to this on Apple, go to where the podcast is and at the top right hand corner is a plus sign and you click on that and it turns to tick if you haven't already done so. If you can leave a rating and a review about the show, that would be really appreciated. And if you listen to this on Spotify right now, the only thing you can do is actually put a a rating, but you can't put a review at this stage, but a rating would be fantastic. So in summary here, I would really appreciate it if you could put a rating on the show and put a review as well, as it really starts to help the visibility of the show, then more and more people will be able to see this actual podcast and start to listen it and follow All right, let's get into today's topic, which is around the leadership strategies for the last month of the quarter. Now, a lot of these strategies are really more about each quarter. And as you get towards the end of the financial year or calendar year, depending on what you're focusing on, you may need to think about a few other things as well as an overall yearly kind of focus. But in particular, we're talking about the actual quarters that we follow at the moment. As a leader, you have a lot of responsibilities, but one of the most important ones is ensuring that your team hits its targets and meets its objectives. In the last month of the quarter, it's essential to focus on the activities that can help you achieve this goal. Too many people get, there's a lot of distractions out there, there's a lot of noise, and they get sort of distracted in a way that they, they'll lose their focus and focus on other things. But there are some certain things that you need to focus on that are essential to help you get the quarter over the line. There's five of them in particular that I'm going to share with you. So here here we go. Let's get into number one. Review your team's progress. Really the first step in preparing for the last the last month of the quarter is to review your team's progress towards its goals. Now, what I'm going to do is get you to take the time out to assess whether your team is on track to meet its objectives or whether there's some adjustments that need to be made. And the review will help you identify if there's any gaps or weaknesses in the team's performance for future needs as well. You'll also probably understand what, what roadblocks may need to be removed, okay? Well, what sort of things that people may be facing, some headwinds or other things that they might be facing, but then you understand what you might need to do as the leader to remove those roadblocks, if you can, to allow an easier path for the team. The second one is around communicating with your team. So once you reviewed your team's progress, it's really essential then to communicate with the team about their progress and towards those objectives. Now, I'm really going to encourage you here to be transparent about where your team stands and what you need to do to reach those targets. Now, make sure that your team understands the importance of meeting their goals and also the consequences of not hitting them. In other words, what will it mean to the business? What will it mean to the project? What will it mean to the team if you don't hit those goals? And so I think it's important for them to understand that. Number three really is around prioritizing your tasks. So in that last month of the quarter, your time is valuable and it's a valuable resource. Now prioritize your tasks and focus on those that will actually have the greatest impact on achieving your team's objectives. Be intentional 
In other words, be deliberate about where you spend your time and make sure that you're working on the most critical tasks. Once again, you can be easily distracted, but it's important for you to be on those most critical tasks. Number four is motivate your team. Motivating your team is critical in the last month of the quarter. In fact, I think it's more about inspiring them because your team will be motivated, but how can you inspire them and take them to another level? It's essential to really keep the team engaged and energized. That is key word is the energy in the actual team. Engagement and also being energized. Even as the pressure builds to hit your targets, make sure that they are engaged and energized. Another thing would be really important here is to actually celebrate some small wins. Provide positive feedback and encourage your team to stay focused and committed to their objectives. Number five is plan for the next quarter. What do you mean, Dennis? We're just trying to get across the line for this quarter. I know. But you know what? You need to start thinking about and focusing on not just the current quarter, but it's about starting to plan for the next one. So you need to take some time out to reflect on what's been working well so far in the current quarter and then what might need to be improved. Then use that information to set some new objectives, new goals, new tasks, new targets for the team and then create a plan to help them achieve those items. So just to recap, five steps, strategies, things for you to focus on to really help you focus in the last month of the quarter. Number one, review your team's progress. Number two is communicate with your team clearly. Number three is to prioritize the tasks in that last month of the quarter. Motivate or inspire your team to be really have strong engagement and energy to help move things forward. And number five is to plan for the next quarter, even though you are still haven't finished the current quarter. Really, in summary here, the last month of the quarter is critical time for all leaders. By reviewing the progress, communicating with your team, prioritizing the task, motivating and inspiring your team, and planning for the next quarter, you can help your team hit its targets and achieve its objectives. Well, listeners, I trust that you found these strategies helpful, and I would love to know how they're going for you as you start to apply them. In fact, Here's a couple of calls to action for you this week, and I think it's about, the first one is really about you to think and do something around the leadership strategies for the last month of the quarter that you need to work on as we are now in the last month of the first quarter of this year. And so some things for you to think about. Number two is an offer for you, right? And I want to give this offer to you, and and I'm going to say to those who have already reached out to me, well done, congratulations. You know what, I've got some gaps here in the sense of I can take on a couple more coaching prime customers and I really want you to reach out to me if this is you, what I'm about to share with you, because it's an offer. Because you see, if you're a high level executive or a senior leader or an entrepreneur and you're feeling unfulfilled in your current role or you're craving to do something more, but you're unsure how to make that leap or understand what, the, what it is, then I'm here to help you. You may be somebody who's just been made redundant and you're not sure where to start. You've been knocked. It's actually quite hard on your confidence at times as well. But but imagine if you could get clarity around what your next steps are and how you can step forward with purpose and confidence. Well, I'm here to help you too. You see, we've got some actual coaching and step-by-step approach and it will help you gain the clarity and the courage that you'll need to do or make to, to, to make your next move. Because you see, whether you're looking to disrupt the status quo or simply find a greater purpose and fulfillment, our executive coaching will provide the tools and the guidance and the accountability to make that happen. Now, if this really sounds like you, then what I'm going to do, my offer to you is this, is to feel free to reach out to me, social media, or on a private message, or send me an email on Dennis at leadingchangepartners.com. And let's organize a strategy call, a free strategy call for 30, 45 minutes, where you and I will get on a call And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, and we can actually do this, and we can get on a call, and we can discuss what your needs are, and how I can help you make the leap. Hey listeners, well that's it for this episode. It's always a pleasure being with you. Thanks for joining me on the Leadership is Changing podcast. Until next time, bye for now. 
Thank you for listening to this episode of Leadership is Changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change, inspiring executives and leaders to adapt and lead a bigger game in a fast-moving world. 